Hello everyone, my name is Carly Hamilton and I'm here to do a scrapbook process video for you guys. I'm just flicking through all the paper that I have picked out for this 12 by 12 layout that I am about to do. And now I'm just sort of trying to work out how I want um, to do this layout, which paper I'm going to use where. And I guess early on I decided that I really wanted to have like a frame um, around the outside um, and like then the main background paper so I am gutting this piece of yellow paper which I believe is from the Dear Lizzie Daydreamer line but I may be wrong um, and yeah I'm just gonna gut it so that I have some paper left that I can use on the layout if I need to um, I don't believe I actually end up using it on the layout so I have kept it for my scraps so I can use it on on another layout and I decide that I'm going to use this it's like a bluey green sort of color um, paper that has some it's been like pre-misted like it's got the misty um, spray mist look on it uh, and I'm going to use that as my main background piece of paper so I cut off a bit of um, the edges there so that it's slightly smaller than 12 by 12. And I believe that I um, I forgot what I cut one side out and I ended up cutting the other side a little bit smaller. Um, so it's not quite square on the page, but I, you can't really tell in the video, which is nice. Now I'm trying to decide what paper I'm going to use to map my photo on. I'm trying to get rid of a whole heap of my older cardstock. I have so, like, I've got a whole bunch of cardstock that's this coordinations that I never ended up using. So I'm trying to use it up and feel good about myself. This one is a, a bigger piece that was already a scrap. So I had already used it, but yay, now I've used a bit more. <laughs> it's all good. And I also have a little piece of 8x8 eight eight paper, which I got from a Studio Calico um, Jubilee kit I believe it was called um, and I actually picked up um, that piece of paper first because uh, I liked the colors in it and then I, I um, picked out all the rest of the pieces of paper around those colors that were in that little 8 by 8 sheet of paper so I've started to go through all my embellishments and um, to the left there you can see this um, pink box thing that is my embellishment center where I've got a whole heap of um, things in there that I like to make it easier to put my pages together I guess you could call it a kit that I've, I've made um, and yeah so I'm going through all my things um, out of that box and one of my missions at the moment is I have a whole heap of frames I've got some uh, crepe paper the pier collection frames I've got some Maggie Holmes um, uh, fabric frames I've got some dear Lizzie um, like paper frames so I've got a whole heap of frames um, you can even see there like there's a vellum frame which I think was from um, the oh dear not oh dear me um, from the oh darling collection by crepe paper I think that's where I was from but yeah I've got I've got so many frames and I am in love with frames but I need to use them <laughs> um, so yeah I've pulled out some frames and that little box there that I was just going through was my die cuts, um, like my flat things. And now I'm going through my more dimensional things. And I'm just pulling out um, a whole heap of stuff out of the box that sort of grabs my eye and works with the colors uh, in the page. I do scrap a lot by color. So a lot of my, um, most of my embellishments are sorted by color. Um, so I've pulled out a whole heap of things and my intention isn't to use every single thing um, that I pull out, but rather um, it just narrows down uh, some stuff that I have to work with. And that way I, um, you know, it, it's a little bit easier for me. It uh, makes me feel less overwhelmed with everything. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, I can, it's easier to pick out stuff, to place it on the page and stuff like that. So in my embellishment um, box there, I also have a bag full of doilies, but I decide not to use them on this page. And I also have a little box um, tray thing 
that is full of like my sticker sheets and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going through now. I've got um, some tags there, some, some letter stickers, uh, um, word stickers is what I meant, some enamel dots. There's a whole heap of things in there. Um, I've got some, I try and mix up new and old stuff. So I've got some older stuff in there um, from that I've had for a while. And then I've got some stuff in there that is new and exciting that I want to use as well. And again, I mainly pull out for color. Um, sometimes I pull it out for, for something that's written, but mostly it's for color. Now I, I really want to use those frames on the page, <laughs> but it doesn't, it's not, it's not working for me yet. So yeah, I, I, I keep on playing around with those frames a lot because I, I really want them on that page. One of the things I like to do is um, once I've sort of decided on something, I like to stick it down because the it just, otherwise, you know, you could play around with the page forever and it's never going to be perfect. At least my pages are, are never going to be perfect. So I'd rather just um, get it stuck down. I'm moving the page around just to see, um, you know, the white splatter that's underneath it. I want to sort of get, get that, um, trying to find the best placement for that. And I decide on that orientation. One of the things that I do do a lot because I'm of the stick it down sort of mindset, um, I often stick something down and then have to pull it back up again. Um, in this case, I put down a sticker tag and it was so closely color matched to that paper that you could barely see it. So I, I pull it up and then I um, put a bit of ink around the edges. That helps define it a bit more, helps it pop off the page a bit more. And I also move it over a bit so that I can stick down some more stickers um, and create like a little cluster. I love that um, 10, 10 sticker um, there because to me it, it looks like it could be a 10 out of 10 sort of thing. Um, and that's sort of what I rate the picture. Um, I don't think I've said, but this picture is from when I was in Japan um, moving there to live. The first thing I did when I got to Tokyo was I went out and hunt, hunted down um, one of my favorite restaurants um, that we went to when uh, we went there for a holiday. Um, it was called Italian Tomato and I believe I got the beef doria. So um, that was the, the pretty much the first thing I did once we got into Tokyo. I went and got that um, my Italian tomato. Doria, yum yum yum. So, ten out of ten <laughs> is what I rate that. Um, I'm pretty sure that I was very happy. And now I'm sticking down. I stuck down some um, buttons. They're like little wood buttons that have like little epoxy stickers inside them from uh, Dearly Z Daydreamer. I am so close to finishing that pack off and. I think it's one of those packs that I'm going to do like a little happy dance once it's done because um, not that it's been painful, far from it. I've enjoyed um, those those buttons a lot. I, I really love them, but it's just um, it's just finishing a packet. I know that um, it's going to be exciting. And I'm also sticking down some more stickers. Um, this, this sheet that I've stuck a lot of stickers down was a Dear Lizzie, uh, maybe Neapolitan. I could be completely wrong about that, but... Um, I got, maybe it was fifth and frolic. Uh, I got it for really, really cheap. One day I found it, um, at a discount, um, at one of our craft stores here in Australia, I found it on sale. So I got it. Now I'm sticking down. Um, one of my missions is really at the moment is to really, I've got a lot of stuff and I'm trying to use a lot of product on my page. Um, just so that you know it's better to be used than to be laying around unused in my opinion so in this page i am trying to make a concentrated effort to get a lot of stuff on the page um, i'm not really huge on having like really cluttered and overly busy pages i still want like the focus to be on the photo and on the story which i think is the most important thing but I also find it a lot of fun 
to embellish and to use my products that I've got. So, um, so the, yeah, that, that is sort of one of my missions for this page. And you can see that I, I'm sticking down a lot of label stickers, but sometimes they just don't work. So in this case, um, that label there, I just couldn't get it. It's like a little tab. I couldn't get it to work anywhere. So I ended up just sticking it back onto its backing and it's going to go back into my stash. Uh, another thing I do is I um, cut up labels. So I cut up that oval label, um, the bit that's hiding underneath the sheet of paper. I cut that off so that I can use it again in another um, layout because even though I do want to use up my stuff, I also um, sort of get satisfaction out of stretching it as far as possible so that's a bit um contradictory but it feels like to me um if it's not getting used then i'm wasting my money if it's getting used and that's great if it's getting used you know twice that that's even better so what what i um sort of do my sort of method i guess is i pulled out all that stuff that i think could work on the page and then i go through the stuff and put it back into my embellishment center um, once it's done so that I'm slowly clearing my page again. Uh, I got to the sort of the stage now where I feel like in order to move forward I need to stick my title down so I pull out all these letters and in the end I decide um, no I don't like what I pulled so I um, went back and got out my brown stickers and I am very pleased to say that I could get um, a title out of this sheet here. I'm, I'm looking at it now. I look at it for, for ages trying to think of what I want my title to be and what's going to work with the letters that I've got. Um, and I've had this, this sticker sheet for years. I, I've gotten rid of the actual packaging so I can't even remember who they're by. Um, but this, this package is so close to being done. So... I'm very, very excited that I got to use um that I got to use this packet. I think um so I'm gonna call this Gloria Storia and I believe that I couldn't yeah, I couldn't get a letter, so I um ended up chopping um an L. I chopped out a bit of the middle of the L and made it look exactly like the eye um that I like, had one eye left. So there we go, Gloria Storia. And as you know, I often stick down um, my letter stickers without the aid of a ruler or a wax piece of paper or anything like that. I just I just whack them down and often I have to pull them off again and rearrange them. And I don't know, <laughs> I should probably wax paper them. Um, I never learn. And in this case, you, you think you think right now that I've got it in a good placement, but I end up moving them. <laughs> So I'm using a lot of my epoxy little um, stickers, uh, my enamel dots is what I mean. Um, tr again, trying to get um, as much down on the paper as possible without it being over cluttered. I, oh, and I got up then at the moment with my setup, when I get up off my chair, it knocks the table and um, shakes everything. So these little love heart stickers are from the a Freckle Fawn kit, super sweet. Um, and so I'm using some yellow hearts. I use my um, scalpel to stick down my little um, stickers like this because I find when I use my hands, it's hard to get it placed in exactly the spot that I want and it's hard to sometimes see what it looks like where I'm placing it but with my scalpel I can I can move around the page and see exactly what it like where where it's going to go so I do have a little bit of an obsession with um tile letter stickers uh I, and I have a, a huge collection of them I believe um so I'm using the these for a little subtitle and it was one letter too short so I had to move across this um the Doria and then put in that last letter it says my first meal because it was my first meal in Japan I really love that um little geotag that says favorite place it is super cute I think it was from Jilly Bean Soup 
um, one of their travel collections or something like that. And I also put down a bit of chipboard um, that I had in my stash. It sort of went aligned perfectly under Doria and the colours just work with this page so it was kind of perfect. Now oh, this is a My Mind's Eye sticker sheet full of like little words and I stick down um, from that I go it says save in the moment um, so I, I stick that down. Um, it I tried to get it to work on that side there um, but it just just didn't seem to line up or, or look right so I stuck it across to the to the I was gonna say to the left but then it's to the right I'm using um, a lot of my zots um, my adhesive dots to stick things down because it's just so much easier sometimes to just put it on a little dot and stick it down now I am making a effort to journal a whole heap in this um, album even though I like I, I, I write hundreds and thousands of words pretty much every day so it is a bit of a stretch trying to compress it down into a couple of sentences and I feel like often that I can't convey everything I really want to say so um, maybe it's just an idea of maybe I'm gonna have some inserts with um, more journaling I'm not sure but in this one I just talk about how um, when I when we when I landed in Japan I knew that I wanted to go to Italian tomato um, the place that I visited when I came here I went there first for a holiday and I loved it so I um, also said it was like the perfect first meal in Japan these stickers here are again from a freckle form kit and they're super shiny um, but they're like transparent so I've got them all over this page saying things like um, hooray, yummy, makes me happy, things like that. Um, I, I feel like I should have put a, another line of writing because it just doesn't quite line up nicely with the blank space um, that's there. Uh, so I decide to stick some things in that corner of the photo to try and um, make it look a bit less like it's got this awkward space on the page. Um, this little circle thing here is actually from a piece of paper from Jelly Bean Soup, I believe. Um, and I just, I loved it that I've pretty much just cut out all those little circles from the page and using them as like little die cut embellishments. Um, and so that the colors just go perfect with this page. Um, I also stick down a button and then I get to use a couple more um, of my enamel dots um, just to sort of balance out that space a little bit better. And that is my page um, done now. Uh, so I'm going to show you a close-up of everything and then some photos as well. I am in love with this page. I don't know, there's something about this that just hit, ticks all my boxes. I, I love I love this page. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to um, hear what you have to say. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys love to watch what I do. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.